What's up, Pable Squad? Today, we're gonna to be making company logos look realistic. Look at this logo of Microsoft. You cannot tell me that it's too simple. Look at Twitter. I mean, X. What the f It's too simple. I feel like I'm dreaming. Definitely not dreaming. We need to make these logos look realistic. More realistic than those 8K Ultra TVs that you can buy from Costco. And we're gonna start off with Apple. Apple. Yeah. Okay, so here's my idea. My idea is we can find just an apple texture, stretch it across, and then cut it into the shape of the apple logo. Then we can find just like a simple PNG of a leaf and then kind of just stretch it out and see what it looks like. Okay, it's looking decently good. It looks like a very low budget logo. However, we're not going for low budget. We are going for realism. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a ginormous bite to the logo. I'm not talking any bite, like a juicy bite, like it was bit by some sort of billionaire. I'm talking about you, Bill. Then what we can do next is we can kind of just soften up the textures a little bit. I've, in my opinion, it's a little too rough, so I'm just gonna soften it up a little bit. Next, we're kind of gonna just go ahead and stretch out the stem from the leaf just so it's connected to the apple so it's not floating. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. Nah. We're, gonna, we're gonna fix that positioning. Okay, I can live with that. Next, we're gonna use the burn and dodge tool and kind of just make the shadows and the highlights pop out a little more on the apple. And we're also gonna make the whole apple red just cause in my opinion, it just stands out a lot more. And after just a couple more tweaks, just with lighting and shadow and all this stuff, I think we can get a really good realistic logo. All right, y'all, it is done. Check out this logo. Look at this, y'all. You cannot tell me that that is not a beauty. It's not a beauty. Hey, we got Tommy Barroso over here. Okay, so this is what the old boot up of the iPhone looks like. Pretty boring, right? Now this is what the new boot up of the iPhone will look like. Oh, gotta love that sound. For some reason, a part of me just wants to see Bill Gates just biting into this apple. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Oh my God. This is so good, this is too good. Speaking of Bill Gates, our next victim, I mean logo, is Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. For some reason, when I think of Microsoft, I just think of Bill Gates. I don't know why, I just do. What I'm thinking is we can just throw on a picture of Bill, then I'm thinking we can get both sides of his glasses and kind of just stretch them on the top squares. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting. Next, we're gonna go ahead and kind of just stretch out that mouth and kind of just put it on the bottom squares. All right, y'all, it's done. That's our Microsoft. No, I'm just joking. I want color to be in there. I guess what we can do is we can just kind of just make it, change the blending mode of this and make it just hard light. We can go with hard light. Yeah, there we go. There is the Microsoft logo. Imagine walking up to like a Microsoft building and just having that big logo just up there. Speaking of logos on buildings and such, let's talk about that Facebook logo. It's plain and boring. You see blue and white. No, I want to add Mark Zuckerberg as the F. Let's just cut out his face, kind of just throw it on there. am I looking at? All right, for real though, let's first get his face, kind of just stretch it on the top of it. And we could just get his ears, cut those out. And then we can expand his forehead because obviously he's big brain. He knows so much code. I feel like that's all code and AI up there. Oh my God. Yes. That's looking perfect. All right, let's add some hair now. I just got a little snippet of his head and kind of just threw it up there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get the sides of his head and kind of just, just stretch those across too and just, just kind of blend it in. Um, we're not gonna worry about that too much right now. Just get it there and we'll touch it up later. Then we're gonna get that iconic gray shirt, just throw it in there with those jeans, get the neck just so it looks like he's actually wearing the shirt. Then we're gonna go ahead and get the liquify tool and kind of just stretch out that shirt a little more, make it way more blocky just so so it looks more into like an F shape. And then we're gonna go ahead and get those arms and looks like he's in a complete T pose just so it looks like he's actually making that F symbol. Then we're gonna get those Nike shoes, y'all. Kind of throw them under the jeans and just make it look right. Align it with the bottom of the logo. <laughs> All right, it's looking pretty good. But now for the final touch. Of course, you know we're gonna pull out that dodge and burn tool just to add some shadows and, and mess with the lighting a little bit just to make it look way more realistic. Of course, we gotta add a little shadow and highlight to that big head of his. Like, oh my God, all that knowledge. You gotta make that pop out. And then we're gonna add a little bit of shadow under the arms just to make those arms look real big and make them stand out more. Touch up the pants a little bit, maybe the shoes. All right, y'all, 
The Facebook logo is done. Look at this beauty. Let's apply this to the website. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I'm telling you, imagine having this logo on your app. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous on the iPhone screen. Mark, I'm telling you, the click-through rate for your app is going to go... Apple, Microsoft, Facebook. If you want the rights to these logos, they will be on my Patreon. You can go ahead and just download them there. <laughs> all right, Hable Squad, that's gonna be all for this video. I dare you guys to comment on some companies that I should do next. And of course, I will see you all next week. Goodbye.